It's Ryan here. Man, this is my third attempt doing this. First time I had a bad glare. Second time, I don't know, just didn't look good. Here we go. It's my third attempt. Um, I wanted to do a video on just talking about episode one of season two of The Mandalorian. And I got a guest with us today. The child from The Mandalorian little guy <laughs> so I actually I took lots of notes just so it's not a whole video of me saying um um because I noticed my past few videos have been a lot of ums but it was a lot it was a 52 or 54 minute episode it was long it was cool um it started on Man, there's a lot of cars coming down here just staring at me. I think it was Lothal. But people aren't too sure if that's the plan that took place. Well, basically, it's what you see in the trailer when the Mandalorian is at that fight. He's watching the two Gamorrean guards fighting. It starts there. He, he wants to get some information to find some more Mandalorians. Because he needs to know where to take. Oh, yeah, and by the way, I forgot to mention, this is Spoiler. Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. So if you don't want, want to be spoiled just yet, because I am putting this up today. Today's the day the episode came out. I'm putting this up today. Um, if not, wait till you watch it. But like I said, I got, I got a lot of notes. So I'm going over pretty much the whole episode. But yeah, it starts out there. And you see a lot of cool graffiti. And it's really cool. You can see lots of Star Wars characters on it too. Like you can see C-3PO, Darth Vader, Stormtroopers, stuff like that. So it's cool seeing graffiti. The only time you ever really saw it other than that was Rebels. To see graffiti and that was Sabine. She was always leaving her mark. So that was cool. Um, but yeah, they were walking to the dark and you could see like creatures hiding in the dark um, where, they're, where they're walking. The Mandalorian and the child. Right, buddy? He agrees. <laughs> but yeah, their eyes are red. It's creepy. It's cool. Um, so yeah, they do what they have to do there and then the guy messes with him he <clears throat> doesn't want to give him the info and then he has to chase him and then he gets the information but he actually um, shoots the guy and hangs him upside down like he shoots him on the foot wraps around hangs him until he gets the information he needs and then um, he walks away and then shoots the light and then those creatures come out so that was pretty cool I thought that was a, just a cool intro to the show. <clears throat> and he finds out he needs to go to Tatooine. So it's cool. And they go to a new uh, city. There's Moss Isley. There's Moss Espa. And there's a new one. It's called Moss Pelgo. But he shows up in Moss Isley first. Where that woman is with her pit droids. Where she um, repairs ships. So they go back there, and you see um, there's a lot of Easter eggs. Like I said, the graffiti had Star Wars characters spray painted, and there's R5D4, who is the droid in Episode Four. Who, when the Jawas show up with the sand crawler at the homestead where Luke lives, it's the first R2 or sorry astromech droid they get, R5D4, and then he ends up having a bad motivator, so they take him back and they get R2. So he's in there. And he's alive and well, which is really cool. And then he ends up um, going to Mos Pelgo. He takes takes a speeder again, and he ends up getting to this. It's a mining colony, this city. It's real small. It's not as big as Mos Espa, Mos Eisley. Not like that. It's really small. It's very westerny, like it's like a town in the west, like in cowboy movies. And he goes to a cantina, and in comes a character. His name is Cobb. Oh, man, my writing's bad. Vanth or Varth? I think it's Vanth. But anyways, this guy walks in. He's got Boba Fett's armor on. Not all his clothes. He has always... This character's wearing his own clothes. But he has the helmet, the chest and back armor he's got the gauntlets all that stuff that was cool i mean we knew it was well at least i knew it wasn't boba just because like, they're not gonna bring boba 
Boba Fett back like that if he does come back. Um, but anyways, when the Mandalorian sees that, he like he wants it back. He's like, I need to. He's like, I need to bring that armor back to my people. That belongs to my people. And the guy doesn't want to give it up. And they have they do like a what do you call it? like a standoff or something. They're gonna do like a sh who draws first kind of thing. But then he they decide they're gonna help each other because um, uh, crate dragon shows up. And you see one of their skeletons in episode 4, New Hope, when R2 and C-3PO first land on Tatooine. So that was cool. It's kind of like... Kind of like Dune or Tremors. The Krayt Dragon actually goes underground. So it was like running underground by the city. Um, so yeah, they basically just decide that Mandalorian's gonna help kill that Krayt Dragon. So they don't have any more trouble from that. So no one's dying, anything like that. And in return for helping... He'll get the armor back. So he does that. And. Man it's a lot. It's a long episode. Man. But yeah. They go on their mission. Oh and. Cobb. Vanth. He. His speeder. Is one of. Ah oh, this is so cool. Like I said. Lots of easter eggs. Lots of callbacks. His. His. Speeder is made of. One of Anakin's pod racer engines it's anakin's he just has like a seat attached to one of those engines and that's what he uses so yeah mandalorian gets on a speeder Cobb gets on his um his own pod racing speeder and they go on the way to look for this crate dragon to kill it and they end up getting help from tuscan raiders um because they end up in the bad part of um where they're going and they and um the Mandalorian it's cool he knows how to speak to the Tusken Raiders like the grunts and stuff but also like sign language so he speak to them they form a union that they're all going to get together and kill it but they need more help than just Mandalorian Cobb and those few Tusken Raiders so Cobb gets his city to help so they all get together and help um but yeah, so it's cool. Like the Kray Dragon lives in a cave, so they have to like draw it out so they could attack it. And they put like explosives under the ground. And they got these like arrow launcher things. Like there's arrows attached to ropes to shoot it out because they want to like try to pull it so it doesn't go back in its cave. And there's just a lot going on. I'm kind of going fast with it. Um, but yeah, so they're like fighting it and everything. And at one point, both Mando and Cobb, they use their jetpacks. So it's cool seeing them flying and stuff. Um, but eventually, they, they do get the... Um, oh, it doesn't kill it. They, they hit the detonator, but the explosives don't kill it. And there's a Bantha. It's what the Tuscans ride. That has the rest of the explosives on it. Poor Bantha. It's like all over its back. Um, so the... Mandalorian ends up having to do that, kill the crate dragon with all the explosives on the Bantha, and at the end they're like Tuscans are like just like cutting up the, because it exploded obviously, the crate dragon they're like collecting the meat so they have food to, meat to eat, and they end up getting a big pearl, like I forget what the crystals are but when the crate dragons eat the crystals. It turns into a pearl in them, so the Tuscans were able to get that pearl. And it was funny, the Mandalorian, he even grabs a big chunk of meat and puts it on his speeder. I guess for him and Baby Yoda. Or, sorry, the child. So it's not Baby Yoda. That's what the internet calls him. It's not Baby Yoda. It's the child. Side note, George Lucas knows the species. He's the creator of Star Wars. He knows what it is. He's just never put it in his movies or the novelization versions of the movies or anything. So... That's why the internet calls him Baby Yoda, because nobody knows the species. Um, but yeah, it was a cool episode. And at the end, you see Tamora Morrison. Just a quick shot. Tamora Morrison, he played Jango Fett in Star Wars Episode 2. And he played all the clones, obviously, in Episode 2 and 3. And people's speculation is that it's Boba Fett and he wants his armor back. I'm kind of thinking maybe it's just one of his clones. I mean, it could be Rex. His head is bald. Um, like in Rebels. But yeah, either way, it's either Boba Fett and he wants his armor, or it's just a clone, maybe a specific one like Rex from Clone Wars and Rebels. But, yeah. 
it was a really cool first episode and it was long they uh, they don't intend for all the episodes to be long i think they're going to be like the standard 30 to 40 minute like last season but we'll see but either way that was fun it was like a just like a space fantasy western but definitely check it out well like i said if you didn't want spoilers don't watch it um, but if you did watch it anyway definitely check out the episode if not if you did watch it um beforehand comment what you liked we could discuss it if not um if you're not a subscriber subscribe like tell all your friends hi my name is ryan um stay positive love life peace